Hello and welcome to this presentation on Career Development and Outcomes from Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences, or MCPHS. My name is Tim Ryan and I am one of the Assistant Directors of Admission for the First Year team. Uh, so I work as an admission counselor for incoming first year students, uh, helping them learn all that they need to know about MCPHS throughout the admission process. I'm going to talk a little bit today about outcomes, um, what you can expect in terms of a return on investment from an MCPHS education. I'll start off talking a little bit about MCPHS uh, so that you get a little bit of background. We are a comprehensive healthcare university. Uh, it started in 1823, so we're celebrating our 200th anniversary in 2023. We're really excited about that. Uh, we've been in the Longwood Medical Area of Boston for that entire time. I'll talk a little bit more about the Longwood Medical Area throughout the presentation, uh, but just know that it's a place where there's a lot of healthcare opportunities uh, awaiting you. Uh, we are one of the top healthcare comprehensive institutions in the nation with over 100 different programs to offer. And really one of the, the things that sets us apart is the interprofessional education model. And what that means is, is we really focus a lot on collaboration. We're trying to mirror what's happening out there in the healthcare industry, where these days in particular, a lot of different medical professionals who serve different roles will really work together in a collaborative fashion uh, so that they're making the best patient care plan possible. Uh, we try and give you opportunities throughout your time at MCPHS to have just that, those opportunities for collaboration and, and communication with people doing different things than you uh, so that you can know what it's gonna be like uh, collaborating with others that aren't doing the same job as you once you're out there in the real world. Uh, I've mentioned again that we're in the Longwood Medical Area. Um, this is really the, the specific hub of the healthcare hub. Boston's known as a great uh, city for healthcare and really specifically within Boston, the Longwood Medical Area is a, a, a campus-like area that houses a lot of different hospitals, medical facilities and research institutions uh, that you can have opportunities to, to visit, to work at, to volunteer at. Uh, during your time at MCPHS. We also have a number of different on-site clinics uh, and labs where you can get great hands-on experience throughout your education to supplement what you're learning in the classroom. So that's a little bit of information about MCPHS. Um, again, I talked about the return on investment. That's really what we're focusing on here. The ROI on a, uh, an MCPHS degree or the return on investment uh, is really great. Uh, we think that these rankings really speak volumes uh, for what you're going to, going to get as an MCPHS student. Uh, we are ranked number one by, by publications such as the Wall Street Journal, uh, Money Magazine, uh, number one university in the country for earning power, number one most transformative college in the nation. Um, so really great rankings uh, for, to show your ability to come into MCPHS, learn quite a bit, and then be in a really good position after you finish. And I can talk a little bit about some specific examples uh, of the places that alums of MCPHS will find themselves um, with a few success stories here. First, I'll talk a little bit about Hardik Goswami, um, a PHEP graduate from 2019. Um, he got his Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmaceutical Health Economics and Policy, that's PHEP, uh, in 2019. That program gave Hardik the opportunity to stand out as a cutting edge researcher, and it was a stepping stone for him to enter the corporate pharmaceutical world. Uh, right now, what he does is he works for Merck Pharmaceutical, which is located in the Longwood Medical Area, really close to MCPHS. He works as an associate principal scientist at Merck. Uh, he develops health economics models for early product and lead dose product for the Food and Drug Administration. So another example is Dr. Hawasatu Dubuya, uh, who was a pharmacology and toxicology major during her time at MCPHS. And when she was at MCPHS, she was accepted into a program uh, that's, that's put on by the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and the Harvard Cancer Center uh, in the Continuing Umbrella Research Experience Program. What that program does is exposes underrepresented students to cancer research over a 10-week 10 10 period. Um, and Dr. Dumbuya really credits MCPHS for showing her all the research opportunities that are out there. She went on to get her doctorate at Brown University and became a senior scientist with L'Oreal. And she works in their translation discovery clinical innovation team, uh, leading that team uh, in their efforts developing novel concepts, methods, and protocols uh, for new active ingredients used in their products. 
Uh, the last example that you'll see here is uh, Jessica Jones, who is a BSN or Bachelor of Science in Nursing uh, alum from 2020. Uh, and she works as a patient care assistant at Brigham and Women's Hospital, another place that is really located right in the Longwood Medical Area, steps away from MCPHS. Uh, and what Jessica does is she performs a wide variety of duties helping nurses and patients. Um, sh she works as a patient care assistant. Uh, Brigham and Women's Hospital is a top rated hospital in Boston, which I will talk a little bit about in just a moment. Um, and again, it's really located uh, just in our backyard. Those are some specific examples of what some, some students, some recent alums are doing. Um, we also do survey all of our graduates and ask them what they're up to after they finish their time at MCPHS. Um, here are some of the top positions that students find themselves in after graduating. Many of them will, will look familiar to you, um, but I'm sure some of them might not, and, and maybe things that you did not know existed or really didn't think would, uh, would be applicable to a, a healthcare university like ours. Um, so this just is illustrative of the fact that there are a number of different opportunities out there for you. Um, you, you know, not just nurse, not just pharmacist, not just doctor, um, but there's a number of different opportunities for, for making a real difference uh, in the healthcare industry after your time at MCPHS. Here's a list of uh, just some of the many companies that hire MCPHS. Uh, there are over 7,500 job openings in the Longwood Medical Area, that cluster of, of, uh, of institutions and hospitals that are, that are really close to our campus. Um, some of those, those places are Boston Children's Hospital, which is the number one uh, pediatric care facility in the country uh, for a number of years running now. Uh, Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, which uh, has more than three quarters of a million patient visits annually and is known for revolutionary research and advancing medicine. Brigham and Women's Hospital, uh, which is another top-rated hospital, uh, world-class academic center with expertise in virtually every specialty in medicine and surgery. Uh, also Merck Pharmaceutical, which is a Fortune 100 company. That's where Hardik is, is working. Uh, it's a research-intensive biopharmaceutical company. Again, it's right in our backyard. Uh, we're also really close to the Harvard Dental School. Uh, and one place that's not in the Longwood Medical Area that's uh, still really close and accessible that I want to point out is the first bullet point on the list, which is Mass General Hospital. Um, and Mass Gen, um, although it's not located in the LMA, gives a lot of opportunities for students to be at a real world-class hospital, ranked number six best hospital in the U.S. by the U.S. News and World Report, um, which is a great, great place for, for uh, MCPHS students to, to get some exposure uh, and hands-on experience. These places are, are going to be places that you're going to be able to work and, and um, take part in as an MCPHS student, but they're also hiring students after they're finished uh, their education at MCPHS. Where specifically in the world can an MCPHS, uh, MCPHS education take you? Uh, it can really take you anywhere. Uh, we have students coming into MCPHS from all across the United States and also all across the world. Uh, and students find themselves, once they're finished uh, their education, really going all over the, the world, uh, places like Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, the United Kingdom, Canada, uh, and also a number of different states in the United States. Many of our students will stay sort of close to home or in our community, uh, which is really fantastic. We have 64% of our students finding themselves with a position somewhere in Massachusetts, uh, but we do have a number of students staying elsewhere in the Northeast, going across the United States, and throughout the world. Here's some information about the salaries that you can potentially expect after you finish your time at MCPHS. Uh, our, our students are, are reporting really good salaries. 38% uh, of our students have a salary in the range of forty-five dollars to $60,000 as their starting salary uh, for a year. 29, an additional 29% of our students report their starting salary between sixty dollars and $75,000. And an additional 12% of our students report a starting salary between $75,000 and $100,000 in their first position after MCPHS. And 10 years after their first day of school, so not 10 years after graduation, but 10 years after you start at MCPHS, uh, the median salary was $114,000 in a recent study. We were ranked also in a recent study by Georgetown University as the number three uh, college in the country for return on investment. Uh, 
Uh, they ranked schools by what uh, their, their alums are earning five years, 10 years, 20, 40 years down the line. And um, we were consistently ranked number three out of all the colleges and universities that they surveyed. Uh, so we're really proud of that ranking as well. MCPHS also offers a lot of opportunities for their students to advance their skills through continuing education. Uh, we have certificate programs, pathways, which I'll talk about in just a moment, also online master's programs um, that you can really do on your own schedule and at your own pace, um, which is really fantastic. Those pathways that you see listed here, those refer to dual degree programs at MCPHS where you can get two degrees uh, throughout one program. Um, so you can get a Bachelor of Science degree as well as an additional advanced degree in something like physician assistant studies, occupational or physical therapy, optometry, um, or also osteopathic medicine or an MD degree. Um, so those are fantastic opportunities for students to, to uh, get those two degrees in a, a little more compact fashion. So we have a lot of opportunities for students to advance their skills uh, through those continuing education opportunities. And this just further enhances the value of that MCPHS education when you're thinking about the return on investment. So thank you very much. Hopefully this has been an informative few minutes uh, to let you know a little bit about MCPHS and about the return on investment of an MCPHS education. If you have any questions about anything that I've gone over here in particular, or really any questions whatsoever, uh, we'd be more than happy to, to chat with you. If you wanna send us an email, you can reach us at admissions at mcphs.edu. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you, seeing you in the future, and I wanna thank you so much for your time today. I'd now like to introduce Melissa Hawkins, Director of MCPHS's Center for Professional Career Development who will speak about all the resources the center offers to help prepare students for career success. Hi, I'm Alyssa Hawkins, the director of the Center for Professional Career Development at Mass College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. Today, I'll be giving an overview of the CPCD and our resources. The overview of our department will include the CPCD mission, information on the CPCD staff and services, your role in professional career development and the next steps that you can take to be prepared for your career. The mission of the CPCD is to prepare students and alumni for career success by providing employability resources and tools that advance their academic and professional pursuits. We are fortunate to work with so many great students on the Boston campus and one student in particular, Lois, who's a doctor of pharmacy student in the class of 2024, gave us the student testimonial. She said, during my time at MCPHS, I have come to understand that the CPCD is one of the most valuable departments. I enjoy their workshops, especially as an international student, because it provides me with helpful tools and information on the actions I can take to become the best possible job candidate. And our goal as CPCD advisors is to help you become the best possible job candidate. Some of our services include one-on-one -on -one advising, everything from exploring careers and career decision making. So whether it's deciding what it is you want to do uh, after graduation, what area you want to pursue, or sometimes even within that area, is there a particular population that you want to serve? We help students research and find more information out about career industries, career paths. We help students connect with employers and alumni so they can gather more information to be career ready. We help students with strategies on finding internships, fellowships, residencies, jobs, and volunteer work so that they can gain the skills and experience they need to be prepared. We also help them represent their best self in professional communication and that includes resumes, CVs, cover letters, and interviewing so that students know how to professionally present themselves when going into the job market, be it for jobs, internships, or volunteer work. One of the things that the CPCD off also offers is lifelong alumni career services. So you have us for your entire time at uh, MCPHS, and upon graduation, we have a career advisor who is prepared to work with you. Some of the resources that we offer are available online. The 
Career Center has an online Blackboard resources that students can use. This includes handouts, it includes webinar materials, and these materials are available for students, whether you're writing a resume, whether you're trying to find an internship, you need to prepare for an interview. Our webinar materials, as well as our handouts, are there for you to access. We also have a system called Big Interview, and it's an online interview practice software where students can get on the system. And it's almost like doing a webinar um, interview with an employer. We also have our how-to guides. We have social media, which we'll see later in this uh, presentation, um, where we post jobs, internships, tips on how to be career ready and various strategies. We also have job announcements for jobs, internships, and volunteer opportunities that you can access. And we also have academic specific information, depending on which career field you're going into. And one of the things about our CPCD Blackboard page is it is an open page. So it's accessible to current students, alumni, parents, and prospective students. So I encourage you to look at that to find out more about the services we offer. And this is a sample. If you go to the MCPHS Blackboard page, you will find the CPCD Career Center tab at the top. If you click on that, you will see the welcome screen. And then within that, you're able to navigate into our various areas. This is a sample of our how-to guides, which includes the information on writing cover letters, creating a LinkedIn profile, job search, et cetera. And then over on the left-hand side is the navigation tab where you will find information on career-specific uh, areas within industries uh, for your major as well. And the next steps to building your success at MCPHS is getting involved in internships, volunteer experience, and part-time jobs, as well as student organizations. All of this involvement helps you to gain the transferable skills that both graduate schools and employers are looking for. It helps you apply what you've learned in the classroom into a real world setting. It helps you connect with mentors, and it also helps you to get to know what you like and what you don't like about certain work fields and being able to refine what it is that you want to do. It's easy to stay connected with the CPCD. Um, we sent out a monthly newsletter, which is called News You Can Use, which actually is found on the CPCD Blackboard page under the Boston tab. So prospective students and parents, if you want to see what we have sent out to students in this past couple of months during this fall semester, please go there and you can read through our newsletters and get a sense of the services and information we provide to students. Also, connect with us through social media, be it Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn. And you just, with each of those platforms, it's the at MCPHS Career Center, but you will also find links to that on our Blackboard page. And last but not least, this is the staff that makes up the Boston Career Center. Karen Sink, who is our executive director, she oversees programs that are geared towards graduate students. Um, next would be me, Melissa Hawkins. I work with the students that are in the School of Physician Assistant Studies. I also oversee faculty programs around internships, research, and career experience related to their academic programs. Then is Sue Wang, who's our assistant director, and she oversees the programs of School and Arts and Sciences, as well as a School of Healthcare Business. Then we have Mike Stoffis, who oversees the School of Pharmacy, and in particular, the Doctor of Pharmacy students. And Jordan Hunt, who oversees the Schools of Dental Hygiene, Medical Imaging and Therapeutics, and Nursing. And if you're a prospective student or a prospective parent, and you have questions about what you can do um, in your year before entering MCPHS on how to be career ready, how to investigate various career fields, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at careerdevelopment at mcphs.edu and also take a look at our resources available on Blackboard. Don't hesitate to reach out to us. We look forward to hearing from you.